Hey, this is Paul from Wondershare Mobile Trans, and we concluded the other day a five top tips of WhatsApp in 2020. And if you missed that video, you can click in the top right corner, just where the ice cream is, to go and have a look at it. But today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you 10 more WhatsApp tricks. So, stay tuned. Let's start with one of 10, shall we? And that is to add a shortcut to your home screen of somebody that you talk to quite a lot. If there's someone that you chat to more than you chat to anybody else, then you can actually create a shortcut to that chat and place it on your home screen. To do this, what you need to do is go to that chat window, first of all, and then click on those three vertical dots. Then select more and then go to add shortcut. Then that chat will appear on your home screen. Right, let's move to number two of 10. And this is something which is a little bit sneaky because this lets you read messages privately without the other person knowing. Sometimes messages pop up and you just don't want the other person to know that you've read them or seen them. So this is a really good way of being able to do it. When a message pops up on your home screen and it's a message that you don't want the person to know that you've read, then what you need to do is do not click it. First of all, you need to go and turn airplane mode on on your device. Then as soon as you have airplane mode on, you can go and have a look at that message, read it, and then get back off it and then turn airplane mode off and no one will know that you have read that message. Number three is to change the font on WhatsApp when you wanna go and send a message. So this is something that can actually make your messages a little bit more exciting. For example, if you wanted to go and bold a message, all you need to do at the start and the end of that word or that sentence is just put those star symbols and then you can see, then your messages will be bold. Or if you wanted to underline your messages, all you need to do is put an underscore at the start and the end of that message, then your messages will be in italics. Or if you wanted to send a message where you could have a line through the middle of it, all you need to do is put the lines at the end and the start of the message and then your messages will be crossed out. And then number four is still on fonts, but this is for Android users only. So if you do this on your WhatsApp, you can then change the font of the message that you are sending as well. But remember, this is Android only. Okay, halfway through the list and number five, and this is to see who in a group message has read your message. Sometimes when you're sending messages to these big group chats, you don't really have an idea who has read your message until everybody in that group has read your message and then it will change those ticks to blue. But if you do wanna have a look at who has read your message and you know that not everybody has, then there is a way to do that. So what you'll need to do is long press the message and hit that I button for the information. Then it is that simple, it will tell you who is there read your message. Still talking about these messages and we are on to number six. This is to find out what time your message was read. Sometimes it's handy to find out when the exact time was that your message was read. So this is the way that you can find that exact time of when that message was read. What you'll need to do is the same as before, long press that message and then hit that I button for information. And then this will tell you exactly what time your message was read. On to tip seven, and this is to add an event in your calendar. And this one is for I iPhone users only. When you send a message which is a time in the chat window, if you then click on that time, what you can do straight from here is actually add an event into your calendar from that time and that date. This will jump you straight into the calendar app and sometimes it can be really useful when you're trying to plan something with a friend. Now on to tip A, and this is how you can back up your contacts on WhatsApp. For those of you that want to make sure that all of your WhatsApp data is backed up and up to date, then Mobile Trans is a really good option for this. To do this, make sure you connect your device to the computer and then go ahead and open up that Mobile Trans software. Then you need to make sure you click on the WhatsApp transfer, then backup, then you can select WhatsApp messages, then select start. All your data is backed up in just a couple of minutes and this is a free feature with mobile trans, so you might as well give it a go. Number nine is to go and restore your data from WhatsApp. If you have backed up your data before, then mobile trans can easily help you restore your data to your WhatsApp. Again, what you'll need to do here is go and connect your device to your computer, then launch mobile trans and select WhatsApp transfer. Then select restore to device. Here you can check which backups you want to restore and then as soon as you've done that, click start and mobile trans will do the rest. And tip number 10 is how you can protect your privacy. At the moment, WhatsApp and privacy is a really big thing. So let me give you a tip on how you can actually protect your privacy whilst using WhatsApp. This is a really good way to protect your contacts and other data that you might want to keep secure. So you might just feel a little bit more comfortable making your information private. So what you'll need to do, first of all, is go into your settings, then click on account and then privacy. 
In here, you can set who can see your status, about, and your profile photos. This means that only the people that you want to see your information will see it. There we go, there are 10 WhatsApp tips there for Android and iOS. So if these helped you, then why not let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, then subscribe to the channel and then you can see some more of our tips and tricks and some of our reviews on some of the latest devices. So if you subscribe, we will see you on the next video.